for today's art activity, I'm going to start by taking all of my stencils that I have for the different parts of my macaw bird, and I am going to place them onto my piece of paper that I have painted. I want to spread them around so that way I know that they all fit. There should be one circle for the face, a shape for the body, two wings, a beak, and two eyeballs. Make sure you have them all laid out so you have space for all of them. You might have to move some around to get them all to fit, but they should fit. Next, I'm going to take my pencil and very carefully trace around the edge of each and every single shape. When you are done tracing the stencil, make sure you put it back into the plastic bag so that way the next student can use it as well. I'm going to take my time, make sure that they don't stick off the edge of the paper. Trace around it and then put it to the side so you can do the next one. Make sure you're taking your time, working carefully and neatly. That looks good. Once you have traced all of your shapes, oh, make sure you don't miss any. Okay, let's get this last one. Okay, now once you have traced all of your shapes, use your scissors and cut each and every single one out carefully and slowly, making sure you cut right on that line. Once they are all cut out, you're going to take a piece of black paper, fold it in half, trace the cap of a glue stick, and then you're going to cut the paper when it's folded. So that way you have two that are the same. You can draw one, get two for the price of one. There we go. So those are the little dots for the eyeballs. I am now going to take my white glue bottle and I'm going to put just a tiny, teensy little bit of glue. If you use too much glue, it will get super slimy and messy and it will not stick. A little dot for the eyes. Glue those on. Now let's take the eyes and glue them onto the face. A little dot on the back is all you need. Too much glue will make it slip and slide and it will not want to stick. Now I'm going to take some glue and put it at the top of the body for the bird. And I'm going to overlap it, press and hold. Now let's glue down the triangle. You can make it go any direction you want. I'm going to play with it a little bit, decide which way I want it to point. And then I'm going to put some glue onto it and stick it onto my bird. Next, after I make sure everything is stuck, I'm going to do the wings. Now, the wings are going to go on either side of the bird, but first we want to cut a triangle into them. This is going to make a zigzag, but it's easier just to cut little triangles. Now save those pieces. Try to cut them nice and big. You're going to angle your scissors in and then angle them back, in and back, in and back. Take your time working carefully and neatly. That's looking great. I'm going to put some glue here just on one side, just on the very side of the bird's wing and stick it underneath of the body so it's glued together. I'm going to do the same process for the other one. Snip your scissors so it makes those triangles. If they're big, if they're small, that's okay. Whatever size you make them, it will look amazing. Take your time and cut them carefully and neatly. Again, some glue on that inside part of the wing and then stick it under the body and press it down and hold so that way it is stuck together. The next step is to take all these teeny tiny little triangles and give your bird some hair. I'm gonna use these little pieces as hair sticking off the top of his head. A couple little feathers maybe sticking up from his head that looks super fun. I'm gonna add a couple more and then I'm going to put some along the bottom of his body for his tail. That looks pretty good. Now you may use all your pieces. You might use just some of them and that's okay. Either way works. Press and hold. Decide which colors you want to use. Make a pattern with them if you want. Some of them are different sizes, so decide if you want a small one or a big one. That's looking great. I'm going to keep gluing these down till I am completely finished. I might have space for one more. 
Oh, but I think this one might be too big. Let's see, I'm gonna stick it up here on top of his head, and then I'm gonna get a smaller piece. That looks better. Let's use this one, and I'm gonna glue it down, kind of tuck it in there for some tail feathers, and my bird rainbow macaw is completely finished. <laughs>